What is going on guys and welcome. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. This is not a typical Nerd Parade video. You may know Nerd Parade for things such as uh, Let's Plays and video games. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, which is just as equally big a part of my life as gaming is. And I'm going to affectionately refer to this as a Let's Lift as opposed to a Let's Play. So what we're going to be doing today is a little bit of uh, some workout stuff with Nerd Parade. And before we get into it, I need you to do something for me, and it's hit that subscribe button. Also, tag that little bell so you get notified for all Nerd Parade videos. It'll help me out greatly. But anyway, before we get into it, I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade, and let's lift. So currently, what's going on at the time of recording is that we're in the holiday season. And I like to refer to the holiday season as bulks giving. And bulks giving encompasses more than just Thanksgiving, being a play on the word Thanksgiving. Bulks giving encompasses Thanksgiving, Christmas holiday, uh, New Year's, all the big feasts of the holiday season for us in the States and those of you that may be abroad, any type of big feast. So I like to split up my training schedule, so to speak, into six month blocks. Uh, if you're not familiar with the term bulk, it essentially means to eat or diet in a fashion that would encourage mass gain and muscle gain. Sometimes, unless it's a very strict, clean bulking, you're going to put on some excess fat, and it's all part of the process. The opposite side or the other side of that coin is a cut, and that's to eat to encourage fat loss, all while maintaining your existing muscle mass. And if at all possible, adding more on. So I'm starting a new program today, and we're gonna be kind of going through that. I'm gonna be uh, maybe answering some of your questions about lifting, encouraging the healthy lifestyle as much as I possibly can, and we're gonna be talking about it. I'm gonna to try to show you proper uh, moves and forms and all that good stuff to the best of my abilities. And uh, before we get into that, there's a couple of things I wanna address, and one of the questions that I normally get when people find out that lifting is a big part of my life is what type of supplements do you take? And for the last five years, not only the supplements, but the programs that I've run have all been by one individual, and he's a very uh, influential person in the fitness world, and that person is Dr. Jim Stepani. He uh, it has a slew of extraordinary programs. Uh, he has an entire supplement line slash system, which is fantastic. I've been taking it for uh, so basically since it came out. So that's what I recommend. I brought the bottle here so I can show you guys. The system is called the gym system, J-Y-M. It's a play on his name. It's a play on uh, the gym. And if you hold it upside down, it says war, which is always quite amusing. Uh, anyway, I take that entire line. What I have here for you today is the pre-workout, which is the flagship of the line. Uh, the protein's fantastic. Fish oil. Check it out. Give it a check out. But I run the entire line. That's what I take. And the program that we're gonna be starting here today is by the same creator, Dr. Jim Stavani, and this one is called Super Shredded 8. So while we are in bulks giving, and we are gonna be eating a lot more than average, so we're eating for muscle mass, that doesn't mean we can't still lose fat at the same time. So what we're gonna be doing is running this program, which focuses largely on supersets and a, uh, a technique called Tabatas, which is a movement set that, <laughs> I'm not going to do a great job of explaining it, but it's basically a, a movement set that you do for 20 seconds in between your sets and then take a 10 second break and then and jump right back into it. That's the uh, one of the big cornerstones to this program. So we're going to be doing that together. I'm going to try to show you proper movements to the best of my abilities and uh, maybe offer some tips along the way. Now, this isn't going to be a crazy thing where I'm showing you like every rep. Uh, we're going to speed up the video, have some fun with it, but hopefully it might encourage either some questions, uh, encourage the healthy lifestyle, what have you. And you're always welcome to join us in the Nerd Parade Discord, which is in the link in the description below me here to ask any type of questions, and I'll be happy to help you out. Anywho, if you feel like supporting Nerd Parade, also check out the Patreon, but let's get this started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, is a bench press. And the bench press, which I have here in my gym garage, which is, again, two parts garage, one part gym. Don't need a whole hell of a lot of equipment. We're gonna try to work with what we got. Maybe you're building your own set, uh, set of gym equipment at home. I'm gonna show you what I work with. So anyway, first set is bench press. We're gonna do three sets of that and we're gonna go pretty heavy. Uh, this first phase of the workout, we're gonna focus pretty much on heavy and the maximum amount of reps we're gonna do is between nine and 10 for three sets.
Okay, that is gonna conclude our first set. So we are doing bench press with relatively heavy weight and anything that you could do nine to 10 reps on your first set and then slowly fail down the, down the rack after that. Uh, after that, we're supersetting that with dumbbell flies. And then for the Tabata's technique that I'm doing, I'm doing the, the 20 seconds of push-ups after each set just to try to kind of like maximize. Uh, Tabatas, you can normally do, I believe the program calls for it, just to do it between sets before you transition over. But I'm just banging out about 20 seconds worth of push-ups after each one of my sets, just to keep kind of my heart rate high. All right, our first super set is completed. That's three sets of bench press and dumbbell fly. This is gonna be like a tips and tricks type of thing where I'm gonna go over some uh, techniques and talk about the set in and of itself. Now, my working weight back there on the, the non-assisted Smith machine is uh, 205 pounds is my working weight. So what you want is your first set with pretty heavy weight to go for a failure point around nine to 10 reps. And then after that, for your second and third set, just get as many as you can. Uh, bodybuilding is kind of an interesting sport because it revolves all around failure. So when you actually achieve failure is when you're doing your best. Anywho, techniques. When it comes to bench press, the heavier you go, the more danger it is to do a technique that I sometimes see, and it's this, where people put their knees up and their feet on the bench. Uh, putting your feet on and planting your heels into the ground on the side gives your spine that natural kind of curvature that it's supposed to have. When you put your feet up, on the bench and you go with heavier weight, it does tend to put some pressure on your spine, specifically with heavier weight, and it could be dangerous. So best thing to do with that is if you're going heavy to plant your feet firmly on the ground and uh, drive your heels into the floor. Okay, for our next superset, we're gonna be doing incline fly and then incline press. So we're kind of flipping what we just did uh, on its head. So we're doing flies first with a rep range of 12 to 15, since it's lower weight, and then we're gonna do nine to 10 with the press in the second movement. And then after that, I'm gonna jump down and do some more Tabatas, which I'm gonna stick with push-ups since it's chest day. We're gonna to continue to try to maximize on that. The first wave of our second superset has been completed and we're gonna do that three more times. Again, the rep range that I talked about earlier, uh, nine to 10 for the heavy exercise and then 12 to 15 for the more mild exercise, the fly, that is to be focused on for your first set. After that, do as many as you can until failure. So we're gonna repeat that superset two more times and we're gonna go over some tips now. I like to drop the weight since we're doing uh, incline stuff, means we're focusing on the upper part of the chest. Uh, since I've already kind of taxed my entire chest with a flat bench press, I like to drop the weight. So my working weight here is a grand total of 135 pounds with the unassisted Smith machine. Okay, we've now completed our upper chest incline version of the press and flies, and we're gonna move on to our next exercise. So that next exercise is going to be dumbbell shoulder press since we're already utilizing our shoulders for the bench press movement they're warmed up a bit so it's a good idea to pair shoulders with chest another one that's commonly paired with chest day is triceps and we might be getting to that a little bit oh we are in the program this is my first time doing it so i got the handy sheet right in front of me we're going to be progressing to triceps after that so those are those exercises are commonly done together because those same muscles are being worked with the same type of movement so our front deltoid right here is already warmed up from our bench press and uh, our incline press. And now we're gonna move on to some dumbbell shoulder presses, supersetted with the lateral raise. And lateral raise is the side movement like you're flapping your chicken wings to take off. So we're gonna do that now. All right, our first superset of shoulders has now been completed. We're going to go over a couple of tips. For the dumbbell press, I like to do them seated. It's just kind of my, uh, my preference. You could do them seated or standing. 
But either way that you do them, you want to make sure that you don't overload your back and you keep your spine straight. That's very important. Make sure the, uh, the tension is put on your shoulders and not your back. As for your flies, your lateral flies out to the side, uh, keep a bend in your elbow. It doesn't have to be 90 degrees, but keep a small bend in your elbow. It keeps the tension on the middle part of your deltoid. Uh, other than that, make sure your back stays straight as well. You don't want to put any added pressure on your spine or back because you're not working out your back right now. You're doing, you're doing shoulders and you don't want to hurt yourself. Very, very important. So as I catch my breath here before I jump into the set, we're going to talk about the importance of how this exercise was actually designed, how this, uh, this workout was put together. So HIT or high intensity interval training is a very effective method at fat loss. When combined with weightlifting, uh, weightlifting and HIT together, studies have shown that the fat loss is astronomical. It's absolutely amazing and it increases the, uh, the quote unquote afterburn where you're still burning calories long after your exercise or workout has ended. HIT really keeps that furnace burning. Uh, things commonly used to keep the uh, intensity high with weightlifting is a technique card called cardio acceleration. That is kind of similar to Tabata's where I was doing push-ups in between my sets. Cardio acceleration is just anything to keep your heart rate high. It could be step-ups, it could be jumping jacks, it could be running in place, anything to keep you moving during your break between your next set. So instead of doing what I'm doing right now is sitting on your butt catching your breath, you could be doing jumping jacks for a minute or 45 seconds before you move into your next set. If you're just starting it out, it's going to suck. It's really going to be difficult. But once you kind of get going with it and really get used to it as part of your workout, studies have shown that it's actually increased strength, allowing you to push more weight on sets uh, as you get used to it. So I like how bodybuilding is in this very scientific phase right now. It's super fascinating to me. And I like how people are studying it and seeing these comparisons and these different techniques and how they could show different results. Anyway, let's get off our butts and continue this workout. Okay, our super set of our first shoulder exercise is now complete. And just like with our chest exercise, we're gonna flip our next shoulder exercise on its head where we're going to do the higher rep, lower, rate, uh, lower weight exercise first which in this case is going to be bent over lateral raises. Very similar to the lateral raises we just did. You want to make sure there's a bend in your elbow. Again, not 90 degrees, about like so. You're going to be seated. You're going to have your weight. You are going to bend over and you're going to fly outward. And this exercise is going to focus on your rear deltoids since we've now hit the front, the middle, and the back. Deltoid means delta three. There are three heads, front, middle, rear head. Now. We're gonna do that exercise first for our 12 to 15 range. And then for our nine to 10 range, we are gonna do one of my favorite exercises, but also a pretty dangerous exercise if done improperly, which is the upright row. So I like to do this with an easy bar and then you upright row to no higher than your nipples. There's no, no reason to go any higher. You don't need to, and then back down. This is very important because the higher you go, the more dangerous the exercise can actually be. I wanna preface that before I get into the exercise. So don't need to go any higher than your nipples because that is where the maximum benefit kind of ranges. Right about so. All right, our three supersets of the second shoulder exercise is now done and it couldn't have ended any sooner. My shoulders are screaming at me and my tank is running pretty low on gas. My Tabatas have ex like really started to suffer at this point in the workout. So <laughs> it's getting increasingly difficult. We only have two more superset exercises left, four more total exercises and it's three, super, uh, three sets of each superset. So there are two supersets, three each, and it's moving on to triceps. And the first one we have is close grip bench press. Now, this is a this is a very good tricep exercise. Bench press in and of itself uses your triceps, but the closer your grip comes together, 
the less your chest is utilized and the more your triceps are utilized. So with a close grip, I like to measure by my thumbs, grab the bar here, elbows kept in as close as you could get them, down to your chest, up, down to your chest, up. This is called the close grip bench press. I'm gonna do it on the unassisted Smith machine again with the same weight that I worked with on my upper chest for my incline presses, 135 pounds. Three sets and the superset exercise we're doing with those triceps are lying extensions, AKA skull crushers. So we're gonna take the easy bar that I just did the upright rows with, and we're gonna lie on our back and we're gonna do the skull crusher movement. So I don't know if you're familiar with skull crushers, I've always called them that, they're also uh, lying tricep extensions. I prefer to do them with the easy bar or the wavy bar because of the angle, so I don't have to bend my wrist. So I could just kind of do a little bit of this and up. You could do it with the straight bar, but I feel like it puts a little bit of pressure, added pressure on your wrist, so it's not my favorite. I prefer to use the easy bar. We're going to do, uh, we're gonna do that, and then we've got one more superset, which we're going to jump into now. I'm just trying to buy time at this point. Ooh, okay. Our third set, our third superset of our first tricep exercise is now completed. And to be perfectly honest with you, I had to skip the Tabatas. I am just, my tank is on fumes. I'm running out of gas pretty hard, so I didn't actually do the Tabatas. I am, I'm gassed. Uh, but we've got one more superset to go, and we're going to dig deep, and we're going to knock it out. And the exercise, like the last two supersets or the last two exercises uh, muscle groups for the supersets we're going to flip it on its head we're going to do the lighter weight exercise first this time with more reps and then the heavier weight next but some modifications need to be made the exercise is tricep press downs which is commonly done with a cable machine and a straight bar and you press downward with the cable machine uh, i don't have a cable machine in my uh Gym Raj, two parts garage, one part gym. So we're gonna make do with some exercise bands that you see behind me. What I'm gonna do is uh, like kind of a, a cable tricep extension. And then the exercise we're supersetting it with is the uh, overhead tricep, uh, dumbbell overhead tricep extension. So I'm gonna take one dumbbell, one large dumbbell. I'm gonna grab this one here. This is a 30 pound one, just because I'm super gassed out. We're gonna put this back here and this is gonna be our extension. We're going to do that. So that's what we're going to superset it with. This was uh, light modifications to the Super Shredded 8 workout. Eight, it's an eight-week plan, and it focuses on the Tabatas or, or high interval, high-intensity interval training to maximize, to maximize fat loss while maintaining your muscle, which is largely depending on your diet. Make sure you get your protein. I'm about to grab myself a nice tall protein shake to commemorate this completed workout and also catch my breath. So this is our very first instance of Let's Lift on the Nerd Parade channel. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it uh, somewhat informative. By all means, please comment any questions that you have below. Uh, you could join the Nerd Parade Discord for any type of uh, questions that you, you may ask. Uh, please be sure to subscribe, like I mentioned hit that bell icon, comment below, share this with your friends, and we shall grow. We're gonna rhyme it out at the end because it's still a Nerd Parade video, but I hope you enjoyed Let's Lift. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang with me today in my gym garage, and we will catch you. Oh God, it's leg day. We'll catch you on leg day. <laughs>